Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're going to be comparing the Roto Brush 2 to the DaVinci Resolve 17 Magic Masks. Now, I already did this last week, but somebody wanted to see somebody walking. I know I just did a headshot last week to take it a little bit easy on these two. But today, uh, we're going to go for a little bit more quality. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a clip here. Uh, it's going to be going for about five seconds. It's just a girl, you know, walking around in the grass and stuff like that. I got this from Adobe Stock footage. I'm going to go ahead and clear my cache. There's probably a lot of stuff in there. Uh, so, yeah, now let's wait for this to clear and then we'll get started. So, I'm going to double click. Let's go ahead and turn on Roto Brush and then let's start brushing away. Okay. Oh, getting too excited. I'm not sure why it's not. There you go. Pick up the jacket. Come on. This is actually a really hard scene, to be honest. To be fair, a lot of grass. It's it's the worst example to do, but we're gonna do it anyway. Uh, head's good, and um, let's watch it closely. Let's make sure everything's good. A little bit more in there. Jacket needs a little bit more work, and then a little bit of hair there. That should be good. All right, so um, let's press play. I'm just going to watch to see if I have to stop it and do some adjustments. But I think so far it's doing pretty good. So go here. I'm just going to move it and press play. It's actually doing really good considering even the split of that right there. That was good. Um, I don't know about that. That was a little weird. There. Weird spots here. Okay, let's press play. It's not doing too bad. It's actually pretty impressive. I mean, pretty soon, rotoscoping is just going to be a memory. Because this is getting pretty insane. Imagine the time you're saving by using this instead of rotoscoping. That's pretty impressive. All right, I'm just watching closely, making sure everything is inbound. The transition from that to this was really good. I think we're almost done here. Oh, she's touching some stuff right here. There. Press play. Pretty good. Okay, so here's the mask. Did really well, I think. Just got a little bit messy right here. Huh? That's not too bad. Her hand did hide for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna press play all the way through. All right, so let's take a look. Let's go to the composition. As you're gonna see, it's gonna be black. So let's press play. That did actually really well. That's crazy, man. All right, so um, we can obviously still tweak it a little bit. We can do best if you want, but this is going to kind of propagate the whole thing again, but it's okay. We'll just wait for a second. I mean, I should have picked best there earlier, but totally forgot. Okay, so <laughs> to be honest, looking at this here, without even doing like a refine edge tool, 
I don't think... I don't think the um, magic mask is going to beat this. Not quality. There's just no way. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, pop resolve open. Alright, and it was... F okay, so it was 5 seconds. We're here in DaVinci Resolve now. 5 seconds. Same exact thing. And let's go to the color page. Go to our magic masks. Better. And uh, let's do this. My theory is it's not going to beat it out. There's no way. So I'm going to draw a line. Like so. In the press play. It takes a minute to get started. But once it starts... It goes for a while. But I'm just going to watch to make sure that it's not going crazy here. Okay. That's it. That was freaking quick, but I don't know how it did. We're about to find out. Here we go. Here's the mask. It's missing her hands a little bit. Actually, oh, what? Okay, it's it's getting the top of her head up there. You kind of see it right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it a little bit better than that. Okay, so move that. I'm going to go back and I'm just going to draw it smaller because I think I went too crazy there. So let me go like this. Okay. There's the mask. Let's press play. It's still getting those stray hair. Okay. And we'll do... Oh yeah, we can just shrink that if you want. Similar to how we did it. So, let's turn on an alpha output. And I'm going to create a generator, a uh, solid color. Oops, I think I chopped it off. Beneath, and so you can see it. Go. And I'm going to remove the little line squiggly. And that's what you're kind of working with. So, obviously. The Vinci Resolve was faster. I don't know. It's it's kind of hard. I mean, if I blur this and like shrink it, you know, I guess it's gonna look better. I don't know. It's kind of hard. I feel like I think what's throwing me off is the head here, cause he caught that right there. But. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments below on who won this one, cause I, I honestly, I can't, I can't tell, cause it's so much faster in DaVinci Resolve 17, but I feel like it's a little bit more accurate in After Effects. I mean, this is still workable though, obviously, but you know, um, yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I'll see you guys later.